Ask the Experts, sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. With Halloween just days away, some tiny babies got some extra costume help today. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now with what experts are saying about a very special art program. Liz. Hey Paula, good evening once again. If you can't just step into a costume store and pick out the perfect character, sometimes those characters need to come to you. We talked to experts in the neonatal intensive care unit at St. Elizabeth Healthcare in Edgewood today, who, with the help of St. Henry Dist District High School, got little assistance perfect for new moms. He's up from a little more than two pounds at birth. As a 31-weeker. And today, thanks to a special school art program, little Braden got his first Halloween costume. By celebrating these first milestones, that does help mom, you know, to, just for a moment, um, feel like, okay, this is, you know, this is what I would be doing, you know, if the baby were home with me. I would be celebrating the baby's first Halloween. And because it is such a unique time in a baby's life, in a mother's life, the goal of the program really is to sort of let them know that others care and they're not alone. Who better than to do that than these students who chose to take on an art project with a purpose? Even though these babies and these parents are total strangers, these tiny, this tiny gesture could be huge for them. When the students were asked if they wanted to help make tiny costumes for the tiniest patients, it wasn't really a question. It was more of like, babies are cute, <laughs> babies in costumes are really cute. And when the costumes were shared with patients today, from butterflies to superheroes, right, 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 yeah, Maggie right. Tagger found out. It's really cool to see like their babies like to have Halloween costumes. What these students did there's a lot of different variations in these was really big in a small way according to nurse manager Tracy Birch. Just gives a sense of normalcy to a very unnormal situation. Exactly the goal when art imitates this miracle we call life. Oh, they're so precious, aren't they? The students said that they had so much participation in the program, they were able to go back and make additional sizes when they realized that some of the babies were so tiny, they needed to make even smaller costumes than the original ones they'd already made. As always, we invite your questions for providers at St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Go to local12.com, click on Ask the Expert.